We're live. And we are live. Well, guys, we are back. I know a lot has changed since the last time we've done this. Um, but we are back doing on of our live sales. The best thing about our live sales is it is not affected one teeny bit by your quarantine, wherever you are. I hope you are staying safe um, and you're not driving each other crazy, not getting any cabin fever. Yeah, who's, um, whose partner is driving them insane or kids or whoever? Or both. Um, you know, comment. If you're not live, go ahead and comment afterward watching this. If you are live, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we only have two viewers right now. I can't see who you are. If you're any of our regulars, welcome back. If you're brand new to us, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm and going to go. How does this whole process work? Kind of tell us. Yeah. So, um, as always, I'm going to go quickly, as quick as possible, through how the process works. Um, Lisa does not like when I call it an auction, but I say it's auction style, and you will exp and uh, you will see why. There's a little bit of debate. Well, in why Lisa doesn't like to be called for it to be called an auction. There is no outbidding, so this is not oh I bid a dollar, you bid two dollars. What this is is whoever is the fastest will guarantee their order. So for example, this lovely hat right here that i am wearing which is star wars merchandise right did you buy that at the parker at the outlet outlet oh yeah at the outlet i don't know if we have any more of those i don't think we, I don't think we had any more of these yeah. so how this would work oh and you can see i am all disney out today yeah. um so say this was item number zero 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 so I would show off item number zero zero, give you some of its features, tell you my honest opinion of item number zero zero zero, tell you how much it would cost, mention the number again, and then for you to purchase this, you would just simply have to say sold. Now and the item number. And the item number. So zero 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 sold or sold zero zero zero. Now, why I say it's auction style is, say we only have, like right now, one of these, and there are 10 of you, and 10 of you write sold 000. The first person to write sold 000 is guaranteed the hat, and the other people, well, they are basically going to have to wish list the item or pray that you do what you can do, which is say you see a hat later on that you'd like to change that for, or you just change your mind on that purchase. You are not locked in to any purchase that you have with us. You can simply just say cancel 000 and it puts it back in the inventory. So the two commands that you need, sold and the item number and cancel and the item number. Now, any other comments, other than things that are not family friendly or going to be harmful or disrespectful to anybody, including the hosts and our guests in the group. Outside of that, talk amongst yourself, ask us questions. They do not have to be related to the merchandise. You can see we have very, very casual live sales. We end up talking about life, family, um, family Disney, non-Disney stuff. Um, it's a whole mix. So it's a, a bit of a hangout and you get to shop some Disney merch. Um, even if you're not purchasing with us today, go ahead, make some comments, press the like button, um, and tell anybody about the experience that you have today. So we're going to start unless uh, my lovely wife has any... Do we have any announcements or are we going straight into the sale today? Um... Website is still being yeah, so worked on. Um, you want to explain that? So the live sales are the live sales, how we do it. Yes, the, the division between the live sale and the um, website. So the live sale is going to be when you get to hang out with us live. Now, the website is going to be your access to make purchases round the clock. Now, the difference will be 
one, some things will be exclusive or premiere before they hit the website in the live sale. So you're going to want to tune into the live sale. Plus, you don't want to miss it hanging out with us and everybody else in the group that makes it fun. Um, right before we started, yeah, we, we started do, we this. We do not do that on, on the website. We're not going to be No giveaways our, on the website, guys. Yeah. It's just strictly purchases. We so, will have sales and stuff like that, but it's yeah, definitely not going to be There'll be sales, be but not the same kind of homey vibe you get here. Can you guys hear me okay on this side of the world? Can you guys hear Lisa over there? Hopefully you will hear Lisa and not just not Kellen. Um, we see Marcy. You how you doing, Marcy? Hi, Marcy. Hi, um, Hi, Holly, Lisa. Teresa. Hi, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. What's up? We were um just talking about you. All positive, of course. Yes. Um, Hope you're feeling well. Hoping everyone's feeling well and, and safe and and washing your hands. You can yeah. see me wash wiping my hands. I actually yeah. made my own hand sanitizer. Oh, um, yeah. And I somehow haven't gotten the ratio perfect yet. So it's really strong with the alcohol, but the um, gel that I used, it's like a baby oil gel, and it leaves your hands super shiny afterward. At least it's not to... dry. Yeah. I like, I like it. And it has and a it nice smell to it. it. Yeah. Hey, maybe we'll have in on sanitizer one hey. day. <laughs> um, yeah, so the website, the website will give you 24-hour access when it is up and and running um there'll also be not live videos but videos on the website that will give you access to going in more a little bit more detail than we go through in the live sale the live sale because there's a multitude of of different things we can't spend too much time on each item we'll go in a little bit more in depth on the videos that go on to the website like i said you can purchase around the clock on there and um and, you know like when it's on the website it's a guarantee it's you know you're guaranteed you're, you're guaranteed not, you're there it's either it's not there anyone. or it's not there it's there or it's not there um there's no might save bidding or like sold item yeah exactly you'll know right away if you're getting it whereas the live sale is first come first serve um but for special items we're gonna save like we might save them specifically and, on the website or specifically for the live but more exactly. specifically for the live is what and, um, we do. and, 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 I want to emphasize this. The wish lists are not going away. The wish list will be mainstreamed and streamlined through the website. Reason being, we have more time to process it individually there. When you message us on Facebook Messenger, I want to tell you, we love messaging and interacting with you. But it becomes harder when we're having a conversation with, let me pick on somebody randomly, Nikki. We are messaging Nikki and Nikki asks us for something. We're having a conversation and then we don't want to end up ignoring Teresa, which has happened in the past. Not personally, Teresa, but our, you know, someone else ends up getting indirectly ignored or we get forget that we said, hold on one second. And then it becomes this big yeah, thing. That's why we refer to so get the emails. If we get the emails, that way we can download our emails. And when we eventually get out of this COVID madness, the COVID chaos that's going on, and get back into the shops, we'll have shop days that we'll do be doing wish lists, and we'll have live sales. Yep. So, without further ado. I think we don't have any other comments. Oh, oh any pass holders. I, I'm not sure how this is working, but I just read an article just passing on any Disney info that I find. Um, they are doing, it's either credits or refunds on you as a pass holder. No, so the, they're, they're holding, they're not, they're ho charging, they're not charging you. Yeah. during this period here but there is something about a refund as well yeah if you had like one of those four-day tickets or something like that yes um, so look about that december disney is doing their be absolute best to accommodate and not be like some of the cruise lines that tried to just run with the money that they could get because they're panicked about when the next time they're going to get um the money I, and also unfortunately What's the number on, the 20? on what the 20? The, the toy? toy on the front on the ground oh hiding merchandise here 
Um, yeah, so, what was I going to tell you? Oh, no update yet on opening days. They keep on saying they're going to announce they're going to... The reality is, we don't know when anything is going to be open again. Um, but we're open for business, and we're going to start with this lovely item here. I think we're okay, going to try well, to stay in um, theme. Just, what is the website? I'm going to put it in the chat but um what's the website? i love when lisa asks me a question and answers her own question so the website is going to be pinned there but because to be fair to everyone right now it is on a auto reject for any uh, orders that get put in they will go through i'm just gonna cancel them because i want to make sure that the shipping is is perfect for you guys it's I don't nothing want, personal yeah. it's nothing personal <laughs> um that's why I basically said it's going to be like an auto reject is because it's not up and running and it's not going to charge you correctly for the shipping, which is the whole purpose of purchasing that way. Um, you're not having to wait on an invoice or anything like that, making it more streamlined. So nothing personal, but until just think of it, it's still under construction, kind of uh, like what we don't know what kind of Epcot we'll be going back to. Hopefully, we just like the rest of what's going on right now, we don't know about what's our new normal, but we knew our new normal is coming. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to move into um, some items here. I'm getting this, the hand signals to start in this section here. So let's start with something that we all wish we could have right now to just get everything back to normal or to our new normal as fast as possible. A magic wand. Now this is part of the uh, Made With Magic series. So it lights up. It actually plays music as well. I think this one has the little piece in so I can't demo it. Per se, right now, or is this, no, this, this one? one yeah, that one you can, yeah. Oh, would help if we turned it on. So, yes, yeah, so it lights up. What I like about this one is as a toy for the kids, it doesn't make any sound. So, it lights up, and the kids might make a lot of sound and noise, but it's not gonna drive you nuts with boo, 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 brrr and all those kind of crazy sounds going on. Now, this can be sync, sunk, um, in sync with, um, there's what, ears that come in this, there are other wands, yeah, this there's is some a made gloves. With magic collection. There's a made with magic collection. So there's a bunch of things that go along with it. And instead of me trying to remember, here are an example of those very items. So there's the ears. And what they'll do is actually the glove will command the color change on here. There's a color change button and a wand. Um, the wand thing will actually change the patterns when you have it on, on, which I just turned it off. Turn it back on again. It'll change the patterns. It's kind of hard to see against our light here. Let me just give you a little bit more. And that'll just reset it. And there is the color palette change. So you can only imagine how much fun you'll have being able to basically remote control um, other items and their light ups. Uh, there's no big or uh, dangerous parts to this. It's pretty lightweight. Not much on the shipping gonna be here. And it comes with a little wristband. Um, the little wristlet, you can't really tighten down to your wrist. But you don't really need to. Maybe for a kid, you could always double it through. And it runs on two AA batteries. This is, uh, don't think I have the original price on this, which I like to tell you guys so you know how much you're saving. That but one, I think at the parks, they're like. It's usually it starts in the 20s. Yeah, I think something like 20. that. I know the ears were like 24 99 Remember the pink ones? Yeah, those were special ears. Guys, it was like 24 that's a, Yeah. Um, don't have this the the regular what price on this, is that, baby? but this is Did item number uh, zero eight one zero eight one, 
and it is $13.99. $13.99. Remember, this one is like um un just like the glove. So the glove and the wand will basically control the different versions of the ears. And that's how you'll be able to command um the multiple light up um items. The one thing I'm not certain on, um, and if anybody finds out, comment below, is I don't know how many things you will be able to sync. Like I don't know how many airs will be can be synced with one one or something. But it's multiple. It says on here um, that it that it does multiple items. So thirteen ninety nine, item number zero eight one. 081-1399 for the um, Madewood Magic Magic Wand. Shaking off a little ring rust here, guys. It's been a little while since we got to do this. Um, one of my favorite toys, and whether or not girl or boy, everybody loves a bubble maker at Disney. It is the Cinderella um, Pumpkin um carriage with real wheels on it they both spin so this is the bubble maker now i'm gonna turn it on it's not gonna actually oh no this is not the one. Oh, the wand how many wands do we have do we know one, what to stop there's only one now. there's only one wand so whoever's first to saying sold adios it's the only one we can guarantee now this item here I actually have, I'm going to show you that this one is brand new. It has the little stick piece in there. I want to find another one to show you when this lights up because I don't want to pull this one out. Do we have another There's one? another one. Over Hang there. on, guys. One sec. Cardinal rule. Don't worry. Your, your screen has not froze. Meanwhile, Lisa's going to look up how many of these we have in stock. Um, like two. Let me make sure. So yeah, here we go again. I'm going to need the assistance of the lights being off. Just so you can see. Yeah, we have two of those bubble wands. The Cinderella bubble wands. <clears throat> so only two in stock, guys. So it lights up. And that would be as loud as it's going to get. That's, of course, when it's doing its thing with the bubbles. Now, this is the reserve down here. You put add the bubbles. You can add, of course, you don't have to put Disney bubble um, um, solution in it. You can go to the dollar store or anywhere, really, and get like the, even the scented ones that smell like bubble gum and so forth. One of the cool things that this does beyond the light up there is, don't know if you can see that there on the wall. So one of our friends that actually um, works at one of the warehouses says she carries these to like concerts and it's a big hit because of course you're in a much darker place and it's lighting up and there is your own personal little light show. So even when it's not shooting out bubbles, you can still have a lot of fun with this thing. This is for those interested. Item number zero, sorry, zero two four. Item number zero two four, and it is only four ninety nine, guys. Four ninety nine. Remember, the kids are home; they need entertainment they just need as much as you need peace and quiet. Yeah. Um. So if you do not want them to drive you insane. This is a great item here. Go to Walmart. Now, this or, runs no. on. Yeah, go to Walmart. Buy the big bottle of bubble. Three double A batteries. It comes three double A batteries, batteries now, but it comes with the yeah. batteries in it. That's yeah. why it has the little stick in there. I mean, someone only asked, have two. Asked, like how long those last, and they, someone said it lasts a really long time. What the battery? Yeah, the battery. Yes. So if anyone has, anyone we've heard, has we've attested before, from our friend, yeah. also who says so. Item number zero two four. Remember, if you are interested, you write sold 024. If you want to cancel, cancel 024. Item number 024. 024. Um, only two in stock. So be quick on the draw with that one. 
yeah, and it lasts a very long time as far as on the three batteries. And I can only imagine if you get rechargeables, you're good to go. Um, I know it's a little, still a little dark. Did this one have a light up? No, this one just had the sounds, There's right? The sound. So yeah. this is item number. I'm going to start early with the item number. 067. 067. This one I don't have lights on, so I won't need the assistance of the darker tones in here. This is... Um, now, listen. Hi, Raquel. Hey, welcome. Um, if you have a little boy who's into Cinderella and wants a Cinderella one... It's up to you. It's a pretty cool. Um, but that's supposed to be the feminine or girl version. Um, so I guess this would be considered the boy version or masculine this version. This is pretty cool. This is also only four ninety nine zero six seven, and it is the Iron Man bubble gauntlet. So it comes with the little um, piece here. No, this is not ketchup. You're going to look. This is how you reload the gun here. Or the gauntlet itself um it really only needs the spout part but it's always cool you know especially for them to feel like they're doing it themselves again this one runs on three triple a batteries and it comes with all the explanations on how to reload this piece here now why this one doesn't have the little bells and whistles on it but let me see if i can find one that doesn't have the little plastic piece in this one, not this one. Don't worry, your picture has not frozen, guys. <laughs> frozen. Uh, here we go. So, this will shoot your bubbles. But, as you can see, it does have some light-ups there. Oh, it does, it does produce a, a light. Not um not as defined as the Cinderella, I'll be honest. But it does have its own light. You can see there. That's the button um here that will do that, the lights and that. But fair warning, trigger warning, literally. This comes with sound effects. We're trying, trying not to wake up. Kellen with that. But it goes through a, a quite a few of those little different um, weapon sounds. But only $4.99, guys. Um, we have a couple of these in stock. Not a lot, though, from what I'm seeing in stock here. Item number 067067. Just like the bubble wand, this one is only $4.99. $4.99. Moving on. Let's see, what are we going to pick next? One has all the light ups, so you can do it the same way. Oh. So, it's not quite Christmas in July, but hey, right now, with the year we're having, we could do with 12 months of Christmas, right? Yeah. So, I'll show you this. Now, this makes sound because they're all bells. And it has one piece here that has their buttons. Do we have an item number on here? Before I start getting carried away on telling you about this. This is item number zero, sorry, 199. Zero, no zero, 199, 199. The number before 200, 199. This is only 699, guys. And besides having your little jingle balls, this can go through a couple different, I hope you're seeing it, flashes. Now, there's no colors other than the white, but remember, these are already colored. So, And there's quite a few of these settings. Pretty long-lasting battery from what we've seen. Whoa. I just lost one of my pieces there. Well, this one, I've gone through a little bit of abuse with. I'll be honest with you. I got this one, this one, and we've been playing around. Well, we. I've been playing around with it. 
But it actually gives me the chance to show you what's underneath. Yeah, so, so this piece here, in order for you to change, um, the little the bulbs, and, and they're just little LED flashing <laughs> lights so here. If you want to show them, and I'll show back. you as I put it back on that this is very. It's not. It it's meant only to come looks off. like. Know, yeah, it's, it's meant to come off so you can access the the little LEDs. The LEDs. That's the inside there. It only looks like it'll um. It looks it, like, those like metal. <clears throat> like the metal or like like those ceram <laughs> those little balls that usually fall off, and if you don't have carpet, they'll crash and break. It's not that. So that will just slip over the light here, and simply put in through the side. Sorry, hold on. It goes into this piece here, and then this piece slides in there, and that's what gives you your effect of your flashing light there. Only $6.99. Um, I am surprised that not more of them have come off because I have literally been running around chasing Lisa with the jingling of this. 12 months of Christmas, $6.99. Um, item number 199, 199. Uh, let's see if I have, like I said, I like to share the original price. Don't have the original price on this one either, guys. Yeah, a lot of those Christmas items. Um, yeah, a lot of them are tagged by like yeah. color. Like um, if you're familiar with what Disney parks do, instead of going through and changing every item, um, price depending on what time of year it is what Disney will end up doing is they will just put a color like brown or pink or something like that and everything on that category you will see on the board pinks are $12.99 or browns are uh, $20.99 or something along that so let's turn this off as we move on to our next item Where are we going next? This is that one. all the light ups? No, one more. This is a price drop, guys. Lowering prices. All right. This is item number 010. 010. And what we like about this is if you're one of those kids who had to grow up with siblings, you will know what parents love to do is get one item that the kids can share. So this has a light up lanyard. Turn those lights out of your way a little bit. Now the only drawback about this on item number 010, 010 which is down from the in on price, it went down. It is now only $8.99. Only downfall on this is it says 2019, which is the month of my only cardinal sins with Disney. They like to write dates on things, of course, to date the item so that you will purchase it for that year. Now, the little um, disco ball works separate from the lanyard. So you can turn the lanyard into one of the other light up features. Or also the little ball goes into its own little thing here. I don't know if you guys are seeing that as well as I'm hoping. Very bright, but like I said, why the kids can share this is it separates the ball from the lanyard. So one can get the lanyard, one can get the ball, or you got it. if you're our only child, you get both. Um, also very noise friendly, meaning it makes no sound. There's the lanyard separate. And you can just put this on. And there is the ball separate. With all different features. Now this will toggle through all the different colors. Very bright. 
Um, it looks like it runs on those little watch batteries. You do need a little screwdriver to be able to replace it. But for the time being, you will um, have a pretty long life with this. Um, I only know um, one person that had one of these. I was talking to them in the store. And they said they got a pretty, a pretty good battery life out of it. But, of course, the one thing they did not like... Was that they purchased it. No, I'm putting it back on. They purchased it in the park. And it was a lot more expensive than they got it right now. See, this is what I was telling you about. Where it just says the color when they purchased it. So, that, I believe, is our last light up. Item number 010010. Down to 899 uh don't do a lot of price drops because we're already lower than a lot of other people we're already lower than a lot of other um resellers and we are already way lower than you're getting in the parks but when they do happen for whatever reason that we can pass on the savings to you we definitely try to um where are we going next Let's go to our toys and entertainment stuff. Yes. So, here is a classic for those who are having the cabin fever. We're going to go with... Marcy, I think you're doing a puzzle right now. I think I saw you um, on Facebook doing a puzzle. But how many pieces is your puzzle, Marcy? Because oh, this know. is 1,000 pieces. It is? Oh my gosh, for real? 1,000 piece puzzle. Box. Wow. Um, it is 27 by 14, or if you need it in metric, uh, that is 168.6 uh, by 35.6 uh, uh, centimeters there. This I have an original price for. It was originally $21.99, and it is a classic piece. Um, Doran Wilson creates... Um, a work of art from the Disney Gallery. From Disney Gallery, so he does a couple of these. Um, this one that we have, of course, is from Sleeping Beauty, and this is from the 60th um, anniversary. So this is item number one four nine. She's doing a fifteen hundred. Okay. Fifteen hundred. <coughs> wow. She's being fancy. Wow. How? So how big is that one? Because this one is pretty big at 27 by 14. How big is yours, um, Marcy? But it's, it could maybe her size, her pieces are really tiny though. Hey, start the puzzle, and hopefully by the time you reach to the thousandth piece, <laughs> you're um, off quarantine. Item number 149. 149, and it is down from, as I said, Twenty one ninety nine. It is only six ninety nine. This is the type of thing that once you finish, you can definitely, or you're definitely gonna want to frame, just because not only is it a beautiful piece of art, but you're not gonna want to lose any parts of this or have to put it back together again once you're done. All right, no, sorry, that was Teresa that was saying that she's doing a fifteen hundred. Marcy, she's like she lost interest, so. <laughs> But hers, is 32 <laughs> by 24. Is, okay, so that is a massive puzzle. Yeah. My cousin actually does these um, puzzles, and she goes for these higher numbers into the um, thousands. I haven't done a long time. Um, usually on her dining table, she has a glass dining table. No one is allowed to put anything, and they, you come over, and it is a courtesy, um, kind of like a tradition when you stop by her house that you try to help her along with the puzzle um, as it slowly builds into one of these and then it'll either end up on her wall or now that she's picked out some of her favorites once it's put together she kind of just posts the pictures and then the puzzle is never heard from again <laughs> now this one we don't have too many of so once somebody says so 149 this will never be heard from again because i'm seeing this at the um no, no, warehouse no. The There's last time that puzzle, I went. But I think that one was sold out as well. So. so if puzzles aren't your thing, you need something that maybe the kids, kitties like Marcy won't lose interest in. That's in between those two boxes. 
Which one? Yeah, those. Oh. Oh. One of each. There we go. Sorry, guys. We have Operation, but this is Buzz Lightyear Operation. Now, this is actually pretty clever, and it's a really good price. This is item number 122. 122. Um, do we have an original price on this? I don't... Look at the barcode. The don't barcode. think so. Nope. Not on the barcode. That was the first place I wanted to. I was hoping that it's going to be. Now, the box, I'll be honest with you. They could have went a little bit better with the box. Yeah, I feel like the box... The box is a little flimsy. flimsy yeah. Um, which is the only womp womp that I can have about this. So, let's take a look at the actual item here. So, what it is, is it has buzz... And then it has the little pieces in there. And of course, who better to pick for the operation game than Buzz? Because when you hit the size, it's going to buzz. Now, in a regular operation game, his nose lights up. This is the little button that normally engages his helmet. That is going to light up when you um, actuate this one. This is fun for all ages, I feel like. When I say all ages, um, you know... Obviously, not Kellen to, uh, you know, but it's six plus. I think maybe a little younger might be able to get away with it as with per, with parental supervision because it does have small pieces. Oh, OK. Yeah. It does have those little small p pieces that go in there. So obviously, but they could, you know, they'll be able to grasp the idea of the game. So it comes with different cards. You pick which ones you have to go after, and there's obviously, um, what is it? There's point values. Like I said, the only thing about this I didn't like is the box is a little flimsy. You can see even on this one, which is brand new, the box is a little beat up, and we went through them and tried to pick up the best looking boxes. So you can only imagine how these ended up looking um, shipped. But it is authentically from Hasbro. Um, which is, um, I thought Hasbro and Milton Bradley were separate. This has so. both of them on there. Where? Oh, yeah. Maybe one has the rights to Buzz Lightyear and then one actually has the rights to Maybe operation. it's like Disney and Universal. Oh, stop it. Where not. they're secretly the same, they're company not the same company behind the scenes. Yes, that is yeah. my conspiracy theory that I love to annoy Lisa with because everything that Disney does, Universal does like very shortly They're after. Just copycats. Yeah. It's kind of like Sprite and Coke fighting when secretly they're all Coca Cola. <laughs> um, this is fourteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine, one. Two, two. Sorry if I'm not if I'm skipping over any of the comments. Lisa has to kind of yeah, tell me I'm watching. not able to really read anything. I'm watching. Marcy's, Marcy, I, I didn't see what Marcy said. She didn't get very far. Yeah. Well, Marcy, I'm pretty sure that you can give it another whack right now. Here we go. Um, I don't even know what this is. Let's see what this is. Oh. So, it's another one of the kitty toys. Um, now, I don't know about you guys and your area, but every Christmas they come out with one of these. I think Disney does too. Um, the one I'm talking about is the Hess gas station comes out with like the Hess car every Christmas. It's a tradition. So, this is the 2019 Disney... Um, it's actually like their 18 wheeler, but their 18, you know, their eight, their truck. Again, it does have a year on it, but the kitties, I don't think, are going to be too worried about that. It does say 2019, but it doesn't say COVID 19, so I'm I'm sure we'll love this. Yeah. Um, this is. Now I'm not sure why this is supposed to be plus eight. Maybe because it has small parts that if we, if we bang it hard enough yeah, can come apart. Because I'm sure like my little nephew would go to town banging this yeah. and some parts might go flying as you can see. But the reason 
that there is some parts that can come off is it's very detailed. I mean, right down to the side mirrors being um, separate um, in silver, chrome wheels going through, um, the theming all the way through, where you have Chip and Dale, you have Pluto, you have Mickey, Goofy. Is there anybody behind here? Of course, Donald's behind Mickey here, in here. Donald gets no respect. <laughs> but as you can see compared to my arm, it's a pretty sizable piece, even though it's not very heavy. Original price was $19.99. In on price, $13.99. So a nice little price break there. Nice detail. Not many that we have. Only cardinal only sin is the 2019. Oh, we only have yeah. one. So whoever Last is minute. first to, first to say uh, 163, sold 163, this is yours and okay, yours so only. Okay, says that they break easily. Her son has one from 2018 and has small parts. Okay, so, yeah. so there you go. So that's probably why it gets a plus eight. <laughs> and he loves it, yeah. Now, um, Daniel, does it separate the truck part from the back like without breaking it does it come apart that's the one thing that i wanted to know and tell anyone yeah caution choking hazard may contain small parts yeah, maybe like the wheels and stuff like that um, pop off. Yeah. not for children under three which is funny that it has that here under but three. then it says plus eight here under three yeah it's yeah three, okay so i guess Five through eight will probably break it, but probably won't put it in their mouth. Yeah. So there you go. Although when I was eight, I probably would eventually end up needing a new, a new truck. But they come out with a new truck every year. Every year. That was only thirteen ninety nine. Again, item number one six three. Yeah. So she's like, once it's off, like if you separate the two pieces, then it's off for good. Oh. Yeah, so but then you, have two then you have two um, toys. <laughs> You're all about, all about sharing amongst the kids. Uh, where are we headed next? Let's, Let's keep it going items. on. Yeah. Now, this is stationary, but it's still for the kids or for the kids in you. Do you want to open any of these so they can see them? Cause um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and snip, let me, snip let me, this one. Yeah, let me open Lisa doesn't trust me with the scissors. All right, so this is the um, round sna stationary Mickey. Mini. Um, this is Mini? This one is Mini. Oh, not sorry, Mini. Nikki. You're not going to be too interested in this one. So it has Mini on here, and it comes with quite a few pieces in there. So it comes with on colored tag, it tells pencils, uh, two uh, pencils, regular like um, lead pencils, uh, multi, uh, multitude of colored pencils, markers, um, some safety scissors, looks like a pen and an eraser, a sharpener, and one item that I can't quite identify. So let's see when we zip it up. Now what I love about this is even if you end up losing everything inside, you still have a nice little container that you can repurpose some way. I know for us the nurses, they can carry that to us. Teachers, yeah. all our little essentials, um, working essential people will find a way to repurpose this. And the good thing about it is once it's closed up, it's nice and compact. Now it doesn't have a handle on it, but you don't really need one. It's really meant to go in a bag. Um, this is a total of. Well, this is originally twenty four ninety nine. I like to tell you guys that this is plus four and above. Um, does it tell me how many items it's supposed to be? Oh, there's a ruler. So let's take a look inside for ourselves instead of just looking at the tag here. So this is item number one one seven. One one seven. Looks like Kellen is not too much of a fan of Mini. Don't worry, Kellen. We have something else. Maybe you'll like the next one. <laughs> one one seven, six ninety nine. Just wanted to say hello, guys. All right. So let's see here. 
we have the eraser, the safety scissors. Oh, it's a glue stick. See, I couldn't tell what that was supposed to be in the picture. So your, it has your eraser, your scissors, your two pencils. Now the pencils, I will say, even though they give you an eraser, it doesn't come with the little tops on there, which is kind of a bummer, the little tops that have the um, erasers for the pencils themselves, but that's fine. It comes with a nice um, ruler that goes six inch ruler or um, 15 centimeter ruler and has both metric on there to help you learn um, between the two and also helps you to trace your lettering. So it has capital um, capital uh, alphabet there for being able to trace in between there. There is your uh, pencil, your pencil crayons and a little notepad. I forgot about the notepad. That's the other item there as well as your pen on the end here and your markers. This is a nice little set and actually has a little divider piece here in between the two. And like I said, um, you know, at Disney, you could literally, for our in-on price of $6.99, you could be just buying just the the um, the packaging that this comes in. $6.99, item number 117. This um, item, guys, is really good for um, road trips. If you're taking a road trip to Disney or anywhere in the, well, not right now. But um, if you are taking a great road for trip, road trips th or your really pretend road trips, <laughs> um, you're sending them to like a day camp or something and you need them to be active or you're sending them to the um, living room or to the dining room, not to drive yeah. you nuts um, to option. those who are homeschooling right now, yep. unlike um, a lot of schools that have been going away from arts and crafts. Go ahead and add your own arts and crafts in. Let me make sure I put back here. It's a nice size um, eraser. And the sharpener is a simple sharpener. It does not have um, in the sharpener like one of those little collection areas. So you will need to use it over some kind of bin for the shavings. But it's a simple sharpener. And what I like about the sharpener, just to make sure that I show you little details, it's a little separated piece. What I like about that is you can curl this or curl the pencil itself into the, and it, you normally get a, a much nicer sh um, sharpen. I know this because I used to go, I drew, I drew when I was little. I still know how to draw. I need to be drawing more often than I am. Uh, my hope is that my little man's over here is going to have me doing a lot more arts and crafts and drawing. Um, this, I can appreciate because I used to go through a lot of these. And the packages were a lot uh, more flimsy than that back then. If uh, mini is not your thing, we have Mickey. Now, Mickey's zip-up zip station is also plus four. This is... Also $6.99, and this is item number 169. 169. So mini for $6.99 or Mickey for $169. Now his pencils are his pencil crayons are a little bit more fancy. So for the $6.99, if I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm not just being you know biased because oh I'm a male and Mickey. This one would be my pick out of the two, but that's not knocking either one. They pretty much come with the same thing. Here is your um, notepad, um, your glue stick, again, your two-piece um, pencil sharpener. This, um, this ruler is in red. Your safety scissors is in red. The print in here is really nice on the interior. It has little Mickey symbols and you have your markers and your red pen $6.99 guys outside of the piece here this is the back and there's your um, 
There's your front there with Mickey waving to you. Alright, this is the last one, guys. So 169. 169, 699. Okay, well, it's gone already, Mickey. What? No, because I'm saying I was telling you, you know, I only have one of these, um, both of, of all oh, of no. these. Oh no, I didn't know how many we had, guys. Yes, yeah, only one, and it looks like it's gone. This one, uh, if I open it up, the tag is going to come off, but um, he's going to read the list on this one. Yes, so this one is a serious one. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's themed with the Mickey characters instead of the live action characters here. Um, I like what they did here. They have, for example, um, Captain Jack Sparrow is Mickey. Um, then there as one of the crewmen, you'll see... Um, Chip and Dale, I think it's just only Dale here. Yeah, only Dale. I don't see Chip anywhere here. We'll see if we can find him. What is the character's name the, that they go through the whole madness for trying to get? And he's like, um, Empire. Bootstrap's son and blah, blah, blah. In a Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. No see. He's supposed to be Donald here. There's your Disney'd, Disney'd out, Mickey it out version of Captain um, Captain Jack Sparrow with your Pirates of the Caribbean. And what I really, a nice, real, a really nice detail. They did Goofy as the villain here. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, Papa. This one is excellent. This one is six ninety nine as well. I'm gonna be honest. This is probably a, the best value just because of the size of this one. I mean, this comes with eighteen five um fine point pencil point markers. Sorry, eighteen pencils, two ballpoint pens, one sharpener, one memo pad, eraser. Um, this, this is, has a. This is the real world, guys. <laughs> this has a, a ruler as well as well as a, a geometry set, um, which I'm not sure what it means by that. I really am, set? really am tempted to just open yeah, this open to it. see what it is. It just will. will take the tag with the because the original price I think is twenty four ninety nine, but the tag has like what's included in there and stuff like that. So I kind of. If you're gonna give it you a guys, gift. let me know. Do you guys want us to open it up, or are you just you're good with? I mean, we've opened the, up the other two, so you pretty much understand what's gonna be in this one. It's just really nice size um, piece once you're all finished. Um, even if you lost all the stationery in it, I still think it would be worth the six ninety nine just because you can reload it with your own. You know, once you use your pencils or your markers or so forth. You can always replace in this one. Or any of them, to be honest. My favorite out of the three. But they're all $6.99. This one is $135. $135. If you missed out on the last one, this is not a bad runner-up prize. And those are the stationary that, um, sets or kits that we have. Kellen wants me to move on to another item. Um, item number, and we're keeping the six ninety nine going here. Item number zero eight nine zero eight nine original price seventeen ninety nine. I'll be honest, seventeen ninety nine is a bit high, Disney, yeah. on the pricing. But is now this one is supposed to be an autograph book, right? Or no, is it just it's a, it's a notebook? Notebook, but that's I think is a great alternative for that. So you could do your autographs in this. This is a hard cover. I like that. Kind of lightweight for a hard cover. But when I say lightweight, I mean literally lightweight. It's not It's not that the card cover is um, flimsy in any which way, shape, or form. Why I would say it's a good autogra autograph book is because instead of going straight into the pages, it has, does have that protective page at the front and the back. But I, why I you can use it as both, like a journal. You can take a picture of yourself, put a, I think a 3 by 5 can fit in there, and then have them sign, like on the bottom section. I think exactly. Be, you, know, um, you could always, or if you do stamps or so forth, 
Like, I remember yes, around age nine or so, I had um, a much smaller one, maybe about this size. And that was my journal. That was, or, uh, you know, it wasn't a diary. It was my journal because that journal. was so much more yeah. manly. Um, but it was a nice little book like that. Even helped that, me. Give that to your kid. Let them journal about their trip. Yeah, that's actually a good idea to use it as a journal. Let them journal about their experience right Disney. now. Positive, um, negative, whatever it how is. How they miss Disney. <laughs> how they miss, even how much they probably miss going to school right now. Yeah. Um, it is great to go back and read kind of the, you know, the memories, positive and negative, and cringe at the spelling and what was going on and going right. through the head. And also, it helps them with expressing things that maybe they can't say out loud to you. You know, they can write down in their journal and, you know, and I express saw, themselves. I read this article of this lady. She had a journal with her daughter. So she told her daughter to just journal. And 089. When she's 699. ready, she takes the journal and reads it. And then they go back and forth. Back and forth? Yeah. And I was like, so is it like a, like a, um, like a pen. like a lo local pen pal exactly yeah guys did you guys do that in, in in um elementary or whatever version of schooling did you have hmm? um because we did that but the thing that i didn't like about it is it took almost all year to get back a response and we would always get hounded by our teacher to write like this detailed pen pal thing and it was never to anybody specific. And then we got back a response and it was like, oh, hi, I got your letter. Uh, thanks. Well, you just had a sucky pen pal. I but it was awesome always had a, a sucky pen pal, I guess. Oh, she, see, Stacey had a pen pal from Ireland. I had good pen pals. See, mine were never mine from, from anywhere exciting from like that. I think mine was Hawaii. Never. Like, my first good experience with a pseudo pen pal type was like at the, like birth of like all this like social media so before like high like facebook turned into the behemoth that it is like um there was a one called high five and i met somebody that oh, was from yeah. like Cannes, france um and it was like amazing because it was like wow this i'm yeah. connecting and it was like when you thought like yeah the internet's gonna be amazing we're gonna connect with all these people that we don't know from all across and then facebook came and then we just started connecting with people that we already knew and <laughs> which is great which is great to keep up with old friends but now we're just like no i'm not gonna accept you i don't know i don't know this person mm. item number zero Three, six. Now, there's a reason this one goes after the journal, because how are you going to write in the journal if you didn't get one of the stationaries? You're going to need your own customary pen to write in there. Um, so it is guys. one of the collector's pens, as Lisa's saying, has the Disney D. By the way, I don't know if I was dyslexic when I was younger, but the D never looked like a D to me when I was a kid. It looked like a G? It always looked like a G to me. Yeah, it looked like a G to me. When I was a kid, I didn't get it. Like, I knew it was Disney, but I was like, what is the G for? And I was like, maybe it's his, like, first name. But I never said any of these things out loud until I'm embarrassing myself now on a live show. So no one knew that I never looked at this and thought this was a D. But I didn't get the whole extravagance of doing this. I just saw that part going in like that in the line and thought, oh, it looks like a G to me. But make it stand for whatever you want. There's your Disney D on your little gold piece here. This is it is the executive pen, black ballpoint. Um, it is your you are able to change, um, change out a pen. This is a very nice box, very good. Um, this part slides down once you take the tape out for um, presentation of this. Uh, this was. Come on now. Thirty two ninety nine was the original price. I told you it was a collector's item. Thirty two ninety nine. Collector's item. Collector's thirty two ninety nine was the original price. Um, the only thirty number you have to remember here is number zero three six, zero thirty six, because this is nine ninety nine in on price. 
much more reasonable, $9.99. Remove the inner box sleeve carefully and tear the... T okay. Yeah, so it comes with extra instructions on how to pull this out. Yeah, because it's like... You, covered in like it, you might... This might be a little advanced for you if you need the instructions. No, but they're saying because it's... Because like the box is box, collectible? Yeah. But... <laughs> When you get it, you'll get it. Item number, again, 036-036-999. Yeah, I never had any good pen pals. I always had the sucky pen pal that kind of seemed like they had to turn the the the, the um, assignment in late or something like that. So I never had a good experience with that. And every year it would be the same thing. And then you're sitting there trying to write, like, I like pizza and basketball and writing all these things that you're just like, well, I'm just kind of saying all these things. This, they're not necessarily true. Like pizza, I like pizza, but is it my favorite food? I don't know. Um, Where are we headed next? What's the next item here? I think it's trivia time. Oh, trivia. All right, so... This trivia is going to be a little bit different than oh, we usually do. Yes. Oh, I was just going to give a little simple trivia, but... Okay. So this is a two-part. You have to win the trivia to be able to hit the bonus. If you get both... Now, the bonus is timed. The bonus will be timed. Okay. Right? But if you get the trivia correct, you get a free gift... I didn't run this past Lisa, so I'm going to get this, the silent hands. I'm going to ignore her. If you get the bonus, we're going to give you a credit on a purchase. Not a whole bunch of credit, but we'll do okay. a $5 credit on okay. your purchase today. If you can hit the bonus. The bonus, okay. Okay? So you got to win. Be the first person. This is just a little practice of how our auction style goes. You have to be the first person with the right, correct answer. And then you move on to the bonus round to, the bonus okay. round to answer right, our bonus all right, question. All right. all right, guys, get ready. No Googling, please. All right? We're trusting Plus, you guys, yeah. you have to be the fastest. So by the time you Google it, somebody will probably have guessed the right answer right now. This is about Lisa's favorite park. This question is... And I have another bonus yeah, they question should, they about be this able one. To answer that. I think Lisa's you know. favorite park. First of all, do you know what Lisa's favorite park is? Lisa's I'll actually give you a free gift if you know what Lisa's favorite park is. First person okay. that answers Lisa's favorite park. Disadvantage to our newbies, I know. Don't worry, you will know after this, and then we'll get into the real the real trivia. So let's see. All right, Holly. <laughs> there we go, Holly. You got a new a gift. So, but you're not moving into the bonus. We got the real bonus going. So remember to write down Holly. Holly gets um a free gift. Yep. So, you guys tell me, are we ready? Lisa, you yeah, wrote it down? Ready. All right, so here we go. So, in Lisa's favorite park, upon opening, how many countries were originally in the World Showcase? At Epcot. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see those guesses. Oh, a bunch of people knew it. Yeah. Don't worry, Stacey. A lot of the best guess would be Magic Kingdom, but it is actually Epcot is Lisa's favorite park. I am still on the fence on what my favorite park is because I keep Epcot. saying Lisa keeps telling me it's Magic Kingdom because there's so many rides that I like there. Like, my favorite ride is is Haunted Mansion. Um, Hi, but I hate the entrance to Magic Kingdom. I right, well, When I say sorry, hate we it, have it's... An, we have an answer if you want me to... Let's see. Marcy? Is Marcy the only one so far? Yeah. Seven? Do, 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 do. Yeah. We're gonna need you to guess again, Marcy. Okay, so Marcy is not right. Anyone else want to guess? Anybody else want to guess? 
Come on, guys, guess. At least guess. I'll tell you this. Marcy isn't too far off. So there you go. Guess around the area where Marcy is. Eight. <laughs> Who said eight? Marcy. Not quite there yet, Marcy. <laughs> no, I just don't want anybody to say like Daniel 20. Daniel 11. Ooh, oh, somebody got me? very close with 11. I when I said 11, because we have, we currently have 11. Huh? We currently have 11. Okay. Stephanie, did you respond? She said, can you see me? I, I didn't see a response from you. How many did you say? Daniel, you know what? I'll give you credit. I'll give you a gift just because you knew how many we have now. But originally, it was not 11. Teresa, you're headed the wrong direction, sweetheart. Woo! Kate, so close. I'm not seeing Holly or Steffi because um, they're both asking, can you see me? And then Holly said, I guess, but there oh, must be a delay. Stephanie, I see the six. No, not there, not there. All right, so Kate said 10, then she said 9. Teresa said 6. Kate! You win the chance to go to the bonus round. Okay. It was nine. Nine was the original opening. Now, here is a bonus for the group at at large. Kate, you're gonna move into the bon the, the the lightning round where you can win the credit as well as your gift. Okay, you have already automatically won the gift. But bonus for the group. Can anybody guess? This is going to be kind of hard. I'll, I'll, and you know what? It's going to be a little difficult. So what I'll do is I will give you... Um, we'll do the bonus after Kate gets to answer this one. Because it's kind of encompassing there. So the bonus is, Kate... Let me get my timer out. Because you only have a certain amount of time to do this. Alright, tell us when you're ready, Kate. Tell us when you're ready. Just say ready. You only have one minute on the clock to do this. All right, so when you're ready, we'll start the clock. <clears throat> All right, she's ready. All right, so... One minute on the clock. You have to give me at least, at least. When he finishes the question, the, the time will start. So. I won't start it until I finish. At least five of the current pavilions in Epcot. Go. Right. Give me five countries. Five pavilions. Lightning round. Go. It'll be backwards for you, but. This one is for all the marbles. I tell you what, guys. If you're if just because we're all friends here, you guys can help Kate out. She you guys have a you right, have so one Kate minute. Has Canada, England, Mexico. Two more, Kate. US, yeah. Uh-huh. Canada, one more. Think about it. What's next to Mexico? Think about when you're walking through the park if you've been there. She got this. She got this. She's coming. Anybody want to help her out? Marcy said USA, Canada, Mexico, Japan, and China. Oh, we got it. And then Kate Marcy. said Norway. Okay, perfect. She literally just said it. Yeah. Woo! So you get $5 bonus credit on your purchase. All right. Now, we're going to have to write that down because we're not going to force you to use that. Yeah, that is your yeah, in-on purchase money. So that will be five, $5 credit on any purchase going forward. I like that. That was fun. Who thought now, that was fun, guys? Technically, it's UK. And Disney's very specific about that. But oh, yeah. we did go with England. England would be 
in in our in our rules it's right. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be the UK. And then the United States is actually not just the United yeah, States, it's but like it's known North, as like North. the adventure or something or another. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's the United States. Um we'd yay, also have taken job, um France, which I you gotta remember France, guys. Um there is Japan and China, um Morocco and Italy. Which I think someone mentioned Italy, right? No, no, yeah, yeah, Morocco, yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to. I think I would be able to. If, you know, you told me to. Now, question for Lisa. Lisa, do you know the first year, it's a pretty significant year in your own life, that they added a country to the World Showcase? Pretty significant year in your own life. It is the first time that they added a country to the original nine. Let's see if anybody's going to help you out with this. 84? You got to say it like you're confident. 84? 1984? 1984, they added Norway. Norway was the first oh, country first, added, added to okay. additional country added that made it 10. You know what? I honestly don't know what the original ones are. I, it's really hard because like when you even try to Google so it... Added are Norway and who? Um, it was it started with nine. You said Mor- right? Morocco and Norway were the two first uh, two added. Okay. Actually, sorry, Norway was nineteen eighty eight. Morocco was nineteen um eighty four. Morocco nineteen eighty four. Yeah. Morocco is actually owned by the the Moroccan, by Moroccan. government, so that's why they have to follow. And it's their why, it's why, because you can see it in the sight line. The Tower of Terror has to be the color that it is. Because yeah. from where you see it, you actually melds into where Morocco is. And that is why the Tower of Terror is that weird or unusual color. It's to meld in with Morocco. Disney is very, very particular about their sight lines. And Morocco is the only pavilion that does not light up at night. Yes. Because of religious... Respect. So, yeah. so, we're going to move on here. Um, speaking of Epcot, next items, two items here are essential for any of the um, four... Um, what do they call those? Like festivals that they have. I don't know what's going to happen this year with the festivals yeah. at all. Because Flower and Garden... I can now. only imagine how crazy... Whatever festival is gonna be the first time They're they open back up. They're probably just gonna have up. to push push back Flower and Garden and make it during the summer. But some of those flowers are specific to that time yeah. of year too. Well, they are planting them because that's what they said that that's still going on now. So. So they might have a flower and wine garden yeah. festival. <laughs> Who knows? My garden would definitely grow wine in it. Yeah. Um. So it is. Your wine glass caddy. Wine glass caddy. You heard me right. Um, This one says, taste around the world. It does not on here have the cardinal sin of a year, but it does on the lanyard. Now, the lanyard is really nice because it not only atta- detaches on both sides, but it actually, other than just having 2019 written on it, um, it actually has us has an adjustment for the strap so you can make it tighter if you wanted to or not why it's nice you get those little single serving um glasses now this has to be actual wine glass not the little um cups they give you but the ones with the spout here and it'll caddy the glass there or you can place it around your neck you see though that was a price drop this one and the other item you're going to show these are two price drops so if you get sent out like I do to hold three or four drinks and two or three plates, at least one if could you go, go to here. If any of those festivals and you, um, it doesn't have to be specific to Disney. If you go to a food and wine in your local area, exactly. you guys like perfect. Right? You go on a the other day. thing is it could go a real glass. You can carry your own real glass in there. Or if you're a pass holder and they give out a gift. Yeah. Like one of those little wine glasses, um, which we got one year. It's one of my favorite one um gifts. This is, you could go there and take the little cups that they, and just use that. 
Now it opens to adjust to whatever. You can make it a little tighter or a little smaller. This is item number 008, 008. Uh, this was a price drop too. Yeah, this is a price drop, yeah. Oh, I thought you said the next item yeah, was a price drop. This is only five ninety nine, guys. Five ninety nine. Nikki said a chinch drop. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're... That type of chinch drop. Yep. Now this is also great for our current um quarantine stay at home order. You can actually put this around your significant other and send them to the fridge for you to get you some more wine. <laughs> And it does not fit a baby in it. So Lisa cannot try no, to fit no Kellen in, into in a baby into this. I don't even remember how the fitting babies into bags started. Yeah. But I just said that it was big enough you could fit a baby and then you guys... And like, she said it more than forever. once. Because um, you guys kept teasing me about it. But this is the person I chose to marry, okay? Yeah. So this is originally seven ninety nine. Um, was four ninety nine in on is down to three ninety nine. It is the matching plate. Now let me tell you something. These come in super handy. We have two of these, not this particular one. What was the year that we bought it first? Was that seventeen? I think sixteen. 16? Yeah. It might have been sixteen. We still use it right now because what's great about it is it's a little bigger. Then the other, the, the single servings, sometimes when we order multiple things, we place them in here. You can place the cups or a wine glass here to hang. So a flute will fit there or a regular cup will fit in there. And it's much easier to walk with your food. Eat off of this is a little easier. Um, this is actually, again, really good for a beach day, a park day. Yeah. For your social distancing, if you are going outside and you're just going on a little mini oh. picnic by yourself, um, or right now, <laughs> you're just in your going backyard, out. backyard, you know? running marathons. Did you guys see this guy, oh, by the yeah, way? The so guy cool. that ran like a marathon in like literally about this much space. He just kept going back. <laughs> and like he ran to the point where like the grass had like worn down in oh, a yeah. circle where he had run. run. It is crazy. We are going crazy right now. By the way, has anybody else had this effect? So now when I go um, walking or anything, everybody's social distances, which I really love, um, the respect and like the actual paying attention and being considerate. But people actually say hello now. It's like now that we aren't allowed to have the interaction or we're supposed to be limiting it, now people actually want it. No, they you know, actually... I, think, I think it's, this is like, to all my Florida people, all the Florida people, you, you kind of understand. It's like, if there's a hurricane... The extended hurricane like, yeah. honeymoon? And then they're like... Yeah, there's a phenomenon down here in end, Florida they're like, Ooh. where, like, every time there's a hurricane and the lights are turned off or they go out for whatever, rich, whichever one it is, FPL turns it off, or you lose light. Like, people actually start coming outside of the house. They barbecue. They are actually a lot more friendly. And then there's this big roar and cheer when the light comes back. But then everybody just goes back just in their house. Yeah. And they never speak to each other again. So, it's maybe it's a little bit of that. I'm hoping it's something that will stay a little bit more permanent. Just Even if it's just a consider, being considerate and being mindful that you're not the only person walking around. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've had that experience of walking around the parks... And there are just people who, I understand, we pay our money, our good, hard-earned money at Disney. But there's people that just walk around but as if they're no, the no. only person in the park. And it's the kind of ridiculous. The only thing I understand about Disney is there's so much distraction. There's so many amazing things at Disney. So you get distracted and get in the zone. I love how like Lisa just sold that. But it's the, true. It's true to an extent. It's true to an extent. With but you, you gotta oh, not yeah. be so like like when you're doing one of these standing in the doorway at the bathroom come on guys it's a public bathroom or the sudden stop when walking oh, you yeah. have to be cognizant of with the fact shoulder, that there's like, other people behind you yeah. or you can't be like six of you and the six of you are walking hand in hand <laughs> down the way 
Um, you know, the walking against traffic, like 90% of traffic is on the right side going this way. But you decide to be just that one person swimming upstream on the other side um, with your stroller or... Listen, we just, we would all be in a much better world if we were all just this much more considerate of others. Very true. But let me get off the soapbox and move on to the next item. So just a quick review. Item number, sorry, 087, 087, price dropped to 499 Not many of these, so please hurry. And That's old. your caddy. Sold out now. Oh, see, I'm not even able to see what is being sold out, guys. Sorry. If you missed out on it, um, we will also take wish lists if anything like that comes back. Yeah, um, like where those, are we going? the chance of that coming back is like very sensitive. Let's do the snacks, um, the snacks section. Um, so, because I'm getting a little hungry myself here. So, this is from the snack collection. This is item number one. Four one. I, sorry. I can't remember who was asking for this. One four this one. One four one. About snacks and stuff. It is a set of four plates, and just so you can see what are on all four plates, it has the Disney pizza with the pepperonis as little Mickey, um, the Mickey pretzel that actually doesn't look like the Mickey pretzel in the park, but this would be an interesting rendition of it. Um, the Disney Donut. Now, has anybody actually had the Disney Donut? I haven't had one before. I haven't had them, but... I've keep... heard mixed reviews, though. Yeah, I've heard that some are, are like, like they're kind of... great, they're, like, fresh, and then I've heard, oh, they're stale. I've heard, yeah. I'm like, maybe you've had yesterday's version of the one that that person thought was great. And then you also have the candied apples here. So those are your four plates. Two light blue... Two um, navy blue. They start off with that. Now I don't know if you can kind of see what the how the light blue is. They're pretty lightweight if you're gonna add them in a packaging, considering that you're ordering plates. Yeah. And they're excellent for kids because they're like that shatterproof. Now yeah. they're not I think mylar, indestructible. Mylar is the yeah. Material it's called. Is it? I think that's, that's why I love doing the sales with Lisa. Lisa will always my descriptions are yeah, pretty right. good, but like she'll at least things, know yeah. those kind of things. Originally twenty two ninety nine. I'll be honest, twenty two ninety nine for the four Disney plates is not terrible. But why pay twenty two ninety nine when you can go sold one for one for sixteen ninety nine? So sixteen ninety nine. That is a very good one. So you'll have your plates to eat off. But what about what are you gonna drink out of? Well, how about your ice cream cups? Yeah, I don't know. What Oh, my. What? I thought they were cups for ice cream. But they're just because they are. Oh, my God. Lisa just did the frozen. Oh, my. Is the frozen drink cold? She just did the frozen. Now, to be fair, the, I, it is. It's called ice cream. It cups. is actually. Oh. You excellent for you to put ice cream in, Sorry. like our local ice creamery, well, which we are so very much missing, is um Jackson's. If you're ever in South Florida, Jackson's, you have to go to Jackson's. Some of the best ice cream, and like the best flavor combinations. But this is called the ice cream cups because it is, Sorry. um, themed in ice cream. So now it is supposed to be one Mickey and one Minnie. So, no, Nikki, you cannot get two Mickey cups. You have to take mini along with you. But you probably wouldn't even know if they didn't decorate it up here too much. I mean, her polka dots are there, but it's not obnoxious. Just like Minnie's is pretty subtle. Mickey's is pretty subtle, too, with his, um, his little buttons on his pants there. But the ice cream cups do not have to have ice cream in them. You can drink from them. So, you so if you didn't... Them? Yeah, so if you didn't know the um the frozen drink story, it was we were at a festival and I was at in um it's either Ireland or UK and we're I was stopping at one of those booths and they had a drink called um the frozen lemonade or something of that to that nature, right? And the guy walks up 
and says, um, is your frozen drink hot or cold? And the young lady was like, the frozen lemonade, sir? And she's, he's like, yeah. In front of is Japan, it hot the joy, I think it's or the cold? Joy of, the Joy of Tea, I think is the name of the place. No, right. this was this was over on by like Canada, by like in between Canada no, and what it was you call the joy it. of China. No, but weren't we buying the um that chai drink that we liked? I thought it was one no, we were behind it. Was it. Over, I remember it was the, the joy, joy of China. Of tea or something like that in front Sorry. Of so fall grenade, sir, is cold. And he goes pauses for a long time and he says, The frozen lemonade is cold? And she says, Yes. And I was puzzled by why he looked yeah, yeah, yeah. so lost about it until I figured out that he thought it was frozen the the movie themed. But even then, like hot lemonade, I don't know where they do that yeah. or what. But so that was one of Lisa's that was her ice cream cup moment. Yeah. Don't worry guys, you will not be reported to Disney if you have um non ice cream in your ice cream cups. They're just ice cream um themed to go Sorry. just like how you don't have to eat pizza on your pizza plate okay 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 i get it i get it now um now i don't I'm have any end of that one now. i don't have an ounce on this no, I don't. it's probably it but it's pretty big 16 or i would guess easily you'll put a 16 in there or you can fit a pint hey yeah. i'm not saying you have to but um again this is originally 17.99 this is a little expensive um original price um but the in on price is great 0.98098 it is 10.99 to go along with your plates um i think we have what two more snack items uh, yes if you have any comments make oh, sure that lisa three, stops me more. Yeah, I'm kind of, I lost a little bit of connection, so I'm just trying to reload, guys. But Dan's connection seems to be okay. If you guys are having any oh, issues. Oh, Teresa says, I used to live on the road from Jackson's. I yes. Know. Yeah, I was trying to respond to her. That's how I realized, like, I lost connection. So if I lived close to Jackson's, I would be huge. Because um, I'm yeah. getting ice cream all the time. And trust me, um, Hollywood is not on our favorite lists of cities yeah. but we will definitely go through that area just to get to jackson's it is awesome teresa can tell you that it's awesome it was kind of sad we the, it was like the last public place that we had like an outing we went to um so lisa's aunt was visiting and we got to leave kellen home and we went to go get some ice cream yeah. and it was like the first place that we had had in the like social distancing yeah, um kind of thing weird. and it was kind of sad because like the workers were like yeah we were, were probably not gonna stay open for much longer because we were slowly getting ramped up into the whole thing so we'll know that when we can visit jackson's again that we're on the other side of this um so these are your food bag clips your food bag clips they are themed as disney um little chocolate um ice cream mickeys um, what I like about it is even though they're themed in the Chocolate Mickey, they found a way to do colors. And you can slightly see them on the inside of the, the bit air. So you have a red, a blue, an orange, and a green. Kind of strange that they didn't go with all primary colors. and you know, But they gave you two mixed colors and two primary colors. So you get four of them. Do I have an original price on this? $14.99 original price. Uh, $10.99. $10.99. And you can clip your chips, your chips, your... Cereal. Cereal. Although you, you should learn how to roll your cereal bag. Yeah, you roll it really well. I didn't know how to roll cereal Your bags. chips. Uh, and um other in all seriousness anything that comes in a bag that has to be that doesn't have a resealable bag these are excellent for um now this i would follow the suggestion of food bag clips just because these clips are perfect for that 
but they're not super strong, so don't try to like repurpose them as like um clothes pins. <laughs> um some people might be like people what? What is a clothes pin? I actually my cousin asked me that once and I was yes, like Yes, Teresa, so I yeah, so the cups are sold. I um I have that for you. So these are for you now. So next item keeping the uh theme going where are you going to rest your ice cream cup on teresa well you're going to put them on your four piece coaster set now the coaster set comes with the only one i'm not too sure of i'm going to ask you guys and ask lisa is this supposed to be the like the crispy Yes. The the yes, dipped the crispy? crispy yeah. Because we have the Mickey waffle. This is the ice cream sandwich, right? Yeah, this is the sandwich one, yeah. The donut. And, and then the I guess this yeah. is supposed to be the crispy. But they're um they're like they're like the 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 floppy um coasters. Yeah. So they're not very heavy. She um, has those. But they're exactly. positive. Yeah. That's a positive. They're very lightweight. Original price like was them, fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, Teresa, give us your honest review of them, because we haven't actually gotten to use these. Only six ninety nine. Item number one one four one one four. And Teresa will tell you her honest, non paid for opinion of them, if they are worth it. But I think even if you're just gonna use them as just a novelty item, just to say you have them, six ninety nine is a great them as price. Well. She loves them. Good. Now, these is an appetizer set. I am going to play the fool now. I can't figure out exactly what you're supposed to put in these. Are you supposed to put ice cream in these? Or what do you put no. in these? No. Okay, so it has, at the bottom, there's an actual plate. So you can put chips Yeah, it has like a that. server's plate on yeah, there. Put, you can put chips on there and then put dips in the cups. Or you can just keep like it just like that and have the plate with the appetizer the or separate them for your kids so they don't drive or, you kids yeah or exactly drive you nuts do, trying to save you know every kid gets a cup you know you and the kids get a cup um and then you could put like ice cream you could actually yeah put perfect ice cream for that. the permanent netflix and chill that we're doing yeah, right now yeah exactly please don't get uh any uh frost frostbitten from all the chilling that we'll <laughs> be doing out of the netflix and chilling chips and dip and veggies yeah so I'm so mad. She I, uses it when she makes tacos. I, oh yeah. Oh, that's actually pretty smart. Yeah. So you could you do like the like the different toppings in there to serve. That's awesome. That is awesome. Appetizer set. Um, Kellen even liked that idea. Yeah. Uh, third, it was twenty nine ninety nine. In on price. Nineteen ninety nine. Zero zero seven zero zero seven. Nineteen ninety nine. Serve whatever you'd like in them. Now I remember in the store when I was picking it up, somebody actually purchased this for their fur babies. Oh. They used it that way. That's actually a really good idea too. It's pretty deep. Yeah, you could put water, dry, dry but food, dry and food, then wet the food. wet food. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. You could do that. Candy dishes for movie night. Yeah, these are really great ideas. Really man. great ideas. Repurpose them however you see fit. Holly said... Pretty um, much the only thing I wouldn't do with this is repurpose it as a mask to go out right no, now with. let's not do that. No. Um, Holly said that the coasters are, are they're, they're flimsy, but they're, you know, but she likes them. But they, yeah, they work though, that, right? They're floppy, not the kind yeah. of coasters yeah. that leak through. Like, I remember we used to have those where there were like that cork material, but like oh, if you used yeah. it for long enough, yeah. like then it would leak through the coaster and yeah, you're like, what's, what's the, the point? point? <laughs> so that is our um, set. By the way, any questions, anything do you guys had any questions on that we passed? Any questions to see anything? Let us know. Um, we normally do that at the end, but we are kind of hungry. So we want to make sure that we do not skip anybody's questions. 
Um, this is not part of the snack set, but this is part of the Disney Eats section. We showed this last time we went live. The Disney Eats section. So this is the sandwich snap and crust cutter set. It is super um, inexpensive. One three one one three one. It is only five ninety nine. Perfect for stamping all your little sandwiches right now. Um, so it comes with a Mickey and a Minnie and comes with the little set to cut the crusts off. Do kids still like while out of that? I remember when I was young, I, I was really big on you had to cut the crust off. I don't know what I my thing was. I wasn't that type of kid. Maybe because my mother never gave me that option. She was just like, and eat it or not. Well, like, you could give me the sandwich, but I would just eat around the crust and leave the crust at the end. And they would get mad about it. And then when you have all crust left, it is super irritating. By the way, did little Kellen mom make his guest appearance? He's not not quite yet. So again, Disney Eats collection sandwich set with the presses there and the cutter that is originally fourteen ninety nine. But forget that price. Go with only five ninety nine. Item number one three one five ninety nine. Any magnets? Do we have any magnets on today's sale? I'm going to have Lisa check when she comes back. She's just trying to handle some biz um, with the kids. I don't have any magnets on today's sale, but the magnets are down there at the bottom left. You want to grab them by the banshee? Hold on. Hopefully the hand comes back. I don't want to get bit by the banshee here. This one? Yeah. Bottom left. Hold on, we're gonna get some. So these were not originally part of the sale today. So we don't have item numbers for this, these. But this is kind of what the website would be for. So I'll show you off a couple of the magnets um, that we do have. We have Old Key West. Old Key West. Um, now this, I'm not sure. See, like these ones we didn't prep today. So I can't tell you that number because that might not even be that item number. But that's Old Key West. You can acquire, um, message us though, if you're interested in that one. We can find out the price for that one. Old Key West is a wooden one. So that one is a little more expensive. That one is... Is that... Yeah, that is oh. the... That crazy price, that is the one. Um, okay. But at the that parks, would make it was sense. like 20-something dollars. That would make sense. Wood. I just... Yeah. I just didn't... I wasn't sure if yeah. the you item like, number would go through. Yeah. No, I'm, the, the price is not what I was worried about. I was just not sure if the number had been um, repurposed. No, it hasn't been repurposed. So, zero nine six. This one was yeah, ready for the sale. Yeah. Zero nine six thirteen ninety nine. Oh. Now, that does sound kind of crazy for like a refrigerator magnet... But it is wood. It is real we wood. We purchased that as a, a wish list item for someone who collects um, magnets. The, the magnets for and the for whatever for the reason resorts. it did not. Yeah, and pan out. Yeah. So we also have the Mickey head magnets. These are really nice because the not head, only are they yeah. magnet, but it's like the metal Mickey with that like slightly um, like shine to it. Very very nice. Um, could definitely be almost like a emblem. It it's pretty hefty feeling. Almost feels like if you've ever felt like um like a BMW sign or um on the front of a car. Listen, no, I did not tear it off of a car. It's just my um my my uncle had a garage and we had a couple of those. So you could just feel the heft to it. They're pretty hefty there. Don't know the price. Message us about this if you're interested. We're just kind of showing them off because we have the magnets. But this is the type of thing that you will be able to find on the website. Now, these are all the same price. So once we figure out what the price is, um, we will be able to let you know. Um, these are just themed magnets. You can see the size compared to my hand. So that one says, oh boy, on it. I have about three Mickeys and 
two minis. Now, mini says so sweet. Which I noticed they don't really have like a real catchphrase for mini. It's always something that I'm like, I guess I could kind of see her saying it, but it's not something that I know her to say. Like we know Mickey to say, oh boy, or a couple of other things. So we do have those magnets. Um, I have a Disney World 1971. She, say it. she says, she says it's a Mickey. Remember she does like this? She, she goes, so <coughs> she does According to Lisa, she does say that, guys. So I stand corrected. I have a couple of that one that I just showed last. Um, like I said, message us about that one. And a really nice one. Again, you're just going to have to say, just message us about this one. Just because it wasn't supposed to be part of the live sale. This is a magnet, believe it or not. And I'll show you. So the little plush. And the magnet is at the back here. So he faces outward. It's actually right here. So it'll clip onto a surface there. So we do have magnets. Um, they will be in following live sales. Have just a few more items. I think Lisa successfully placed Kellen down. Now let's see if she's going to get the second part of the mission done, which is to actually um, retreat without him, without triggering the alarm. The joys of parenting. Um, where are we going to go next? Let's go with the salt and shaker sets. I have two. So I'm going to go with the Americana salt shaker, which is item number 005. 005. This is originally $19.99. Try in on price of $10.99 for item number 005. It's a Mickey and Minnie. Um, now who is supposed to be the salt and who's supposed to be the pepper? Um, I don't know if they really specify. Someone that has this, please tell me. And please tell me why this says not microwavable safe. Now, not dishwasher safe, I kind of get. I kind of get if you were like, oh, I'm just going to throw it in the dishwasher. I can't bother to try to get one of those little things to clean it out. But why are you putting your salt shakers, your salt and pepper shaker in the microwave? Not sure why it has that warning, but it does. Now, my best guess would be the order that they put it here, meaning Mickey would be salt and then she would be the pepper. But it doesn't specify and I can't tell how by the holes because usually the holes will there'll be one that has more holes than the other they both have the same four holes at the top all right Teresa we will definitely work that out for you Teresa um how many of the old boys do you want just message Lisa um on Facebook and or just message Anon on Facebook and we'll, one of us will answer you after the live sale um Again, item number 005, 1099, salt and pepper, Americana. Now this one here is item number 118118. I'm flying solo, don't worry when Lisa gets back. If I skip over any comments at all, Lisa will definitely... Um, Definitely, definitely um, respond to them. I'm trying my best to, you know, read the comments and keep up with you guys here. Salt Shaker Set 118. This was originally... Oh, we don't have the original price on it. But I can guarantee you it was higher than this one. This is also $10.99. So this is Mrs. Potts and Chip. Um, my best guess is you probably although you shouldn't be, are probably using more salt than pepper. So Mrs. Potts would be your salt and then pepper um, and chip. 
but hey, there's no rules to the way you do them. They're both loaded at the bottom. That goes for both sets. Both are $10.99. I'll show them both again. If you want the Mickey and Minnie Americana, that is item number, sorry, item number 005, 1099-005. And if you want the, this is Pots and Chip, item number 118, 118, also 1099. That's where their little salt and pepper holes are at the top there. Very, very fine detail in this. There is his chip and his little face made out pretty perfect. And Mrs. Potts, as originally played by um, Angela Lansbury in the animated version of um, Beauty and the Beast. Um, we are running down to our last couple items here, guys. Last couple items. I think Lisa might have a trivia to end this because she was trying to get to a trivia, but she didn't know I came prepared today. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll go through the green bucket section here. So first we're going to do some socks. We're going to do the socks all together. And I'll do a comment section check. Okay, I see you there, 118. Please just write sold 118, please. I know I don't, we're not trying to be picky, but it just makes it easier when we're searching through to find it for you, if you are interested in that. And Teresa, I think I just saw the notification if you messaged us. So we will definitely contact you about that. Any wishables? Okay. Um, wishables. I won't forget it. Forget you as soon as Lisa gets back. We're gonna talk wishables. Okay. All right. So socks. This one here is a beautiful part of art. I don't know if you'd even are either either go, even going to want to wear this one. But um, this is item number. 078 078 they're only 699 it is only one pair of socks but you can see it is amazing detail an amazing detail print of Mickey and Minnie black and white and they're forever um showing love to each other the back here now i think this is disneyland themed if i'm not mistaken so this might be a little bit more um, up your alley if you're from the West Coast or, or if you've gotten a chance to visit. We have not gotten to visit yet. I look forward to going there as much as I pick on their little castle. Because I I so much want to see Disneyland as just not just the historic part of, you know, what it means. But, like, my favorite ride being um, Haunted Mansion. I want to see what's the same and what's different between the two versions. Um, you know, unlike what they did with the Star Wars, um, they're not the same. Sorry, guys, I'm back. So, Lisa, w um, we had a request for wishables. Wishables. Wishables, okay. to show some wishables. So, we'll end right. with those. I'm showing off the socks right now. Mm -hmm. Again, item number 0780786699. These were... Oh, size on this. Women's size 5 to 10, men's um, 5 to 9. 5 to 9. Now, this just says Disney theme park merchandise. And then it has Buena, Buena Vista. But isn't this... At least I'm going to ask you. Isn't this themed as Disneyland, though? Isn't that like, supposed to be Disneyland's boardwalk? Um, yeah, it kind of looks like their castle. or Yeah, it might be their... I don't know. I don't know because we kind of have that... That bridge, the bridge that goes to like Sleepy Hollow, mm, that kind of okay. looks like, yeah. Like it's possible. It, yeah. It's just the back didn't look that familiar to me, so that's why I thought. But, any case, very beautiful okay, print. Okay, so Marcy says Disneyland. Cause Disneyland. Marcy, she's been to Disneyland. I was hoping for one of, one of our um, people to <laughs> chime in. Now, this one, very nice print. You went to these? Lisa loves those. No, I, I'm, I'm going to go through those last. 
So, this is item number 030. Remember, if you're interested, sold 030. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hey, Christina. Oh, hi, Christina. Oh, Marcy, come on. I got to get to go to a haunted mansion. Don't do me like that. <laughs> no, you're bad. Pretty much everybody's bad right now, but... Yeah. Okay, so these are youth large. Youth large, okay? So, you know, do with that what you will on sizing. Youth large. This was originally twenty one ninety nine. Item number 030, 030. They're only ten ninety nine. Um, I say only because you're getting three pairs, right? So you get... Ariel in your blue hair with the shimmer on it. You get another princess in Belle. And last but not least, you have Cinderella in the blue. Now, I guess you could always go with, and I'm going to date myself here, the very Punky Brewster-esque mix and match between the two. But the theme follows through. Like one side usually says which princess, like what they're your I guess you would say your right foot. Your right foot normally says the name of the princess on it, and then your left foot has the picture of the princess on it. But hey, once you take it home, we won't tell you what you can and can't do with them. They are youth large, so you pretty much could get away with them um with your little petite feet there. All right, so um, item number 156, 156, item number 156, one of my favorite characters, the Cheshire Cat. If you don't know, for whatever reason, I'm a weirdo, Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite movies. I think they know this. This is his one princess. five six one five six. Alice is his main. Yes, princess. she is my main princess, um, cartoon princess. Because of course, Lisa is my main princess. Aww, we love that answer. Good answer, baby. Um, I love, and you you can tell Lisa is my main princess because that's actually how Lisa did, um, our announcement when she found out the sex. I don't know Kelly. if I ever posted that, guys. Did I ever post how I announced um, for the gender? So, so the gender reveal was just me and Lisa, um, which she kind of knew, knew. I never. I, I knew. she knew, but like she knew I didn't want to find out in front of other people, yeah. so we didn't do that like public gender reveal thing, even though it was done it in was a public still in place. Pu yeah, it was very public. We but not a, like in. you know like a gathering of our friends. Yeah. So yeah, it's just simply the Cheshire Cat. In all his glory. Um, this is size women's 5 to 10, men's 5 to 9. Simple pair, one pair. Um, but that's why it's only four ninety nine. I think you guys are asking about magnets, like the price of the magnets. Is there is there something in particular? The, the um, So Sweet and the Oh Boy ones, that one? Yeah, I think they wanted to know what the pricing was. Those are four ninety nine. Okay, so not bad at all. So the goofy, say it, I can't say Gorsh. I can't say Gorsh. Gorsh. Um, the goofy one. I don't think Mickey. I showed the Gorsh because I didn't see one. Let um, me see if I can find one. Maybe it. it's sold out. Oh, I'm sorry. Those are sold out. Okay, the so, Gorsh? Yeah, the Gorsh are sold out. But the old boy and the so speed, those Might are Might be the only ones left, yeah. Yeah. There is a goofy. I don't know if there's a Donald. Um, but we never had it. We only had those three. No, just those three. Poor Donald, still not getting any respect. Him and Daffy should get together, because they do not get the um, amount of respect they should. So, you, okay, so you're going to go through those, and then I'm going to... You did the both salt and pepper Zero shakers? 019, yes. Okay. Zero 019, zero 019. And, of course, any item that you guys have, you're more than welcome to ask any questions right now. Zero nineteen zero nineteen. This is only five ninety nine. Let me show what is five ninety nine. It is two pairs, two per, of socks here, and it is youth large again. 
So do with that what you will. It doesn't give me sizes. That's why I keep mentioning that. But youth large is kind of stretchy. Like me, I'm a men's like nine and a half, ten. Yeah, the I, <laughs> I probably won't get my foot in this. Lisa will get her foot in this though. Yeah, definitely. And she's a women's what? Eight. A women's eight. So do with that what you will. So you have a simple themed Mickey black sock. They're thin enough that if you wore them to the park, they're not something that are going to make you hot. But it is also for Epcot. If you're at Epcot, you're not going to feel cold yeah, on those yeah. um, nights on the um, the lake. And here's the other print. Now, we are going to be wrapping up, guys. And unfortunately, the reason why we're wrapping up is not only are we running down to our last um, couple items... The but battery our battery is running low on the phone. Say, 10%? Uh, 20%. Okay, so we have a little bit of time. You'll hear me yap for well, just a little bit long. Um, so, one of the mugs. Now, there are one, some other only, ones. That's the last one we have that was of the princess. Uh, I think there's she... one more. Oh, there was a Cinderella one. A Cinderella pumpkin. Cinderella pumpkin, yeah. I'll show it. I'll show it. Snow White one. We're going to use the same it? item number. Just say Cinderella or Snow White for this item number. 174. 174. Lisa is looking at me like, please put that down. Yeah, I was like, yeah, don't bring Because in here in the office is tile. Does it say the price of, of the original price on that one? Original price was 24 Yeah, this one is 24 99 okay, So the Snow White, there's only one left of that one. That one is 4 .99. Now it says inside... Um, the kindest one of all, which they will not be talking about you because if you pour your milk in here and your cookies, you're not sharing with anyone, but it is nicely themed, almost looks like it's, um, Christmas themed, but I think these are supposed to be apples, which is kind of mean when you think about what happens to Snow White. Yeah. But. But that's why the, the witch knew she likes apples. So there is your Snow White cup. You were like, yeah. Um, it is not, now one thing I will say about this is you probably want to be careful about cleaning this out if you don't just use it as a collector's item. Just because what I noticed when I looked on the inside was the section in here that goes into the handle. It looks like if you were to fill it that much, which down at the bottom, I think it does too. Mm, Can't tell. I'm going to have yeah. Lisa reach into it. But there's like a little ridge where it's hollow. So depending on if you filled it to a certain level, it's going to go in here. So be careful with putting milk or things like that, that you're going to want to be able to clean. What I would probably do is get a straw cleaner and you can get in there really well and you, you'll be able to clean it out. So remember, only $4.99, not the $24, not $20 off of the original price. $4.99, $4.99. 174, 174, same item number, different princess. It is the Cinderella pumpkin. Now, this one does not have the same issue with the handle. This one looks a little easier to clean. Original price was $24.99, not $20 off. And you get it. And they all come with the princess's signature somewhere on the, yes. the cup. And then inside, I think there's like a message or something yeah. inside of them. Well, in the Snow White, there is a message. I don't see one. Yep, there is one. Cinderella. Let's read Cinderella's. Make, make your own magic. Make your own magic on the we inside. We have three of those, guys. And we have three, three of these. And only one Snow White. There's Snow White signature on the outside there. So four ninety nine for either one of those, and I think um, Lisa is going to come after I get out of her way with these last couple items with some wishables. wishables. Yeah, and so. then somebody else asking for something. Item number one. 02102 1299. It is um, your dish towel set for Beauty and the Beast. So 
think last time I was asking if anyone knew what the mad the the music book's name was. So there it is there. So one is gonna be your music bit and believe me, that's a dish. I'm trying to see what song this is. They can I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have Lisa figure this out. See what song is written on here, but it has the lyrics. Be, be our guest. Is it be our guest? Yeah, at the bottom it says it. Oh. Yeah, be our guest is written there. I should have known it was be our guest, but none of the lyrics looked familiar until you get to the very end. I guess I don't really know that song as well as I think I do. So this was. Let's see what the original price was in the parks for this. Oh, it didn't have it underneath it. No, they don't have tags actually yet. But in on price is twelve ninety nine. Zero I um, mean one zero two. One hundred and two. They're nice and thick and lightweight, so if you're sh having them shipped with anything else. Um really nice to decorate the um the kitchen. And you could actually use them. And the last one is from the is is it Americana? Is that the This one is the American series? Legend. American Legend series, sorry. Um, no. Americana. American Legend is the other one. Is that black? Oh. The black one, right? Yes. Zero nine one. Zero nine one. This one is ten ninety nine, so it has the Mickey fl uh, American flag, with Mickey in his little board board shorts version of his own pants. There, has the stars mixed in with the Mickey heads. Now this is like a slight off white cream color, so it looks a little bit more aged to give so it, it that more style. Matches the salt and style. pepper shakes. Yeah, right? that, that's why I took out those. Perfect so matches see for how the salt and pepper whoever got match for those this on their wish list and also this one here so you have your thin and you're nice and thick um no original price on it but zero nine one zero nine one ten ninety nine and that's all she wrote guys thank you thank you thank you for putting up with me lisa is going to come on screen and finish up and then you'll both see us off for the sign-off, all right? Hang in there, guys, one second. Lisa's coming on with, I think, actually, she's got a little item to show off. Yeah, um, this one, Marcy was requesting this one, so. Hi, guys. Okay. So, Marcy, you're asking for leggings. This is the only leggings I have right now, currently. This one is, originally, it was $39.99. It is item number 048 going for $16.99 guys $16.99 this one is the Pixar leggings this is a size large um you know I like I said I think we kind of fit similar so their leggings they stretch um you know I usually purchase like um larger extra large for you I'm not sure if you fit this one or if this is your your thing the Pixar leggings but to anyone that wants this one is item number zero four eight sixteen ninety nine and it's the pixar leggings i'm gonna Can check you? for you to see if we have any extra of um zero one nine in case you wanted more than one of that yes that was our Sally was asking for that one i believe so she wanted yeah because someone asked for that one we had four in stock of that one um so two four? yeah four, four okay total. so just so two have been sold any jazz so if you want ears. another one you can always just put um, no no, I need no jasmine ears. Um, zero. Yeah, we didn't go for the we, ears. Um, how do you today? want to do a double if someone wants the double? Because you don't want them to comment so times want... two. Yeah, times okay. two or three or five or whatever. How the, that's how you. So if you, you want a second, if you pair, want multiples, you just, just put two, sold times two. um zero one nine times two. Yeah. And that'll get you two. Yes. Oh, and wishfuls. <laughs> Forgot about wishfuls. Yeah, Christina, sorry. That one airs. I don't... Did you yeah. get that at the um, warehouse? No, you bought me this one at the park. 
Yeah, so yeah. we didn't get that this one. This one, I haven't warehouse. seen this one at the warehouse If yet. we do get any new airs, we definitely... I know that your um, niece is big on Jasmine. So if we do see that, Christina, we will look yeah. out for that for you, okay? Yes, we will look out for that one. Okay, now to the wishables. For the wishables that we have in stock, I don't have numbers for these guys. But these are all $2.99. This one is the Merry Christmas series, the Toy Story toy um soldier sorry so this one you could just put wishables sold wishables and then or you want to give me an item number and then we'll do let's just take an item number item number zero three eight item number zero three eight and then you just say whichever wishables you want the toy soldier this is oogie boogie these are all 299 guys and the alien zero three Ooh. eight 299 Get back on screen, girl. I number zero three eight. So these are the babies. You want two ninety nine? You said two ninety nine. Alien, Oogie Boogie, looking all scary. What is this orange thing on him? A snake or something? There's some orange thing on him. Oogie Boogie has a lot going on. He has a lot going on. Lots of detail. Okay, these are all the Christmas um, series stuff. Well, this actually says Haunted Mansion Holiday Series. I don't know. Oogie Boogie's from He's Nightmare from Before Nightmare, Christmas. So, so I'm so not sure know. where they got that okay. from. But. Our giveaway bucket, you know, um, these are, you know, we don't really sell them. But if you want, if you have a request for wishables, anything in particular, we'll sell them for $1.99. So um, we have, I don't know some of the characters. Um, so this one we, is from... Is the weasel i think this is from um what is that one um splash mountain oh is that what it's supposed to I be i think from? so i think so so if there's something particular you know we still have some of the mickey mouse one this one is from star wars but I think that's so from these the are animated yeah. series so. oh from the animated series okay yes some of them don't have names on them so I'm not really sure, but this is usually the bucket that we do um, giveaways. But this one is that 90th um, anniversary. This one is goofy though. These are the, uh, but these are these are not wishables. These are the sum sums. Those are sum So you know, the wishables. It's just those three. Yeah, that we it's just really those got. three. So if you wanted something, sometimes people just want some small items that they can give to the kids. Um, you know, give as giveaways for um students and stuff like that. So this one, I have no idea what this sum sum is. Now, a new goat. thing I wanted to ask you guys your opinion on is if you wanted to do maybe a price point and have us put together a gift for you. Yeah, so if you want to, yeah. Um, a lot of people do these, um, like, what are they called? Like the gift baskets or, like, for um, th those, like... No. Uh, Sorry, this is, like, mommy brain, I think. This is when you're, like, you can't remember. Once basically. she said it, I'm going to be, like, really big. The mystery boxes, like that. So, yeah, people do the mystery boxes. So, if you tell me, like, oh, I have a niece that loves, um, you know, Snow White, uh, you know, or, like, a friend that loves Snow White, you get them the mug, the Snow White collectible doll, um, Snow White ears, if we have Snow White ears, stuff like that. We can put that together. So, if you want something that's, like, you know, tailored to someone in particular, a certain age group, you know, I have a six-year-old um, nephew, and he would love, you know anything Iron marvel Man. or i so we could put something together or if you want like a mystery box completely that you don't know anything that's going in there you know we can do that as well you could say okay i have a 20 dollar one i have a 30 dollar one i have a 50 dollar one and you just kind of get um i'll tell you like it has like 10 items in it it has like five items in it and we could do something like that hi Catherine. Yeah, we're kind of signing off soon but um we please we welcome watch us you. back and welcome please watch us back um and we I'm trying my best to get the website up and going by Monday. That's my goal is by Monday. But obviously, you know how life is. But we are quarantined, so we're supposed to have more time. But I have a little one, you know, underneath me a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm not, I don't always have a chance to be at the computer um, to be updating the website. 
but I would like it to be live on Monday. So those are s different from the lives. So again, what the lives are um, basically about is we have items that are only going to be for the live. We do our giveaways. We do, you know, Dan came up with an awesome giveaway today. So um, Kate, you know, you get your credit so you can use it now or use it later. Um, you message us and tell us if you want to use it for this purchase or if you want to wait for another purchase or stuff like that. Because you're never obligated to make purchases when we do our giveaways. And if Marcy, for helping out win the bonus round for her, we got a special gift for you. Yeah. But we'll, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll pack that up for you. And, and you know, um, again, if you... Um, we do sh allow shipping to the UK. It is a little pricier, um, but we definitely do allow shipping to the UK. Catherine, I'm not sure if you purchased from us before. No. So, Catherine, if this is your first time, welcome. Tell all your friends and families to come um, and to the lives. And again, the lives are a little different from what the website will be. But if you do have any wish list items, you can send us an email at anonboutique at gmail.com. Anon, I-O-N, I-N-O-N, boutique, B-O-U-T-I-Q-U-E at gmail.com. Send us our wish list. Um, we, we accept those weekly. Um, the character warehouse is not open right now, but we might have things something in, in our inventory that can kind of help you with that. Um, so we're planning on putting out the website um, by Monday morning. I want that to be live and going. So if you want to purchase anything that's on the website via the website, you can do that. But we want you to, especially now since I'm still on, I'm still off. I would like to do lives weekly. Um, but as I go back to work. It'll probably be every other week back again um, because Dan and I, our schedule is going to be a little different. Any so, quick um, um, reviews of anything before we yes. go to signing off, guys? We're going to yeah. start to sign off. So we want you to press those likes. Give us some emoji. Love. A emoji sign off. Have our own little mini fireworks going. So, Catherine, you message us. Um, I can't message you because this is a business account. So, Catherine, message us on a nod if you have any requests. Um, yes. And then we'll talk message about us that. Because this is a business account, we can't reach out to you. Yeah. But if you message us, we'll be able to start um, talking, talking to you to there. You. But if you want um, a wish list, email us that because... The, the messenger on Anon, we kind of keep that as just like, hey, how are you doing? Um, questions about the um, the orders and stuff like that. But the the actual email is for wish list. He's, yeah, he probably hears the baby. I don't know if he hears the baby. Yeah. Right so, uh, <laughs> but we're going to go for our walk, our, our daily walk. With him. Yes. Um, I know. Any let last me, let minute get him. Um, things. If he's not, if he, if he, he might have just made a yeah. little sound. You yeah. can check. You can check. Let me, let me check. Let I me know check. now. I know this is a little crazy of a live because we didn't show any ears. Don't worry. We have ears. Ears are coming. We haven't forgot about you. We just couldn't show the ears today. Oh, my goodness. I just saw that. There was one last item we did not show. It's so small that I just totally skipped over it. It's the last item I didn't uh. get to show. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Good thing it can't drop and break anyway. <laughs> that was hilarious. <coughs> it is That's a little hilarious. tea ball. And this little guy here that gave me such trouble um, is item number 012. 012. It is $6.99. $6.99. It's a very nice tea ball, actually, because you put your your um, freestanding um, like mint or whatever yeah, is going to be in there. Yeah, your mint, your... Whatever chamomile, the and leaves. you have a very nice um, Disney um, head piece as far as the Disney symbol. Sorry, as far as that, mommy brain is not a thing. It's parent brain. Parent brain. <laughs> um, lack of sleep. Lack of um, yeah, that's what it is. Lack of sleep. Which like I get sleep, but I just don't get it all together. Yeah, the hour sleep here and there it was $14.99 it is actually only $6.99 super lightweight it will actually take up less space than your free gift if you won today mm -hmm, true so Kate has one and she loves it yeah I think Christine Great has catchable. one as well yeah a bunch of you people um, bought that so that was the last item we got to show off everything yes. shaking off a little in on ring rust yeah. um love we'll you back. guys stay safe please yes. guys Follow the Call CDC like um, guidelines, whatever they are. Um, washing your hands. Anything that you bring home, please.
clean before you put them yes. away in your Even the items fridge. we send, we're going to try our best to like... We will know, be gloved up when we eye them. washing hands. But obviously, today, I was handling them. Yeah. Please, it's not offensive. Yes. Clean them when you be get careful. there. Um, sun your boxes. So once you open your yes. box, you know, if you can, you don't want to have porch pirates come for them. But leave them outside. Have them sunned. Do everything that you can to stay safe through this period. Yes. And whatever um, after this period can stay as a long-term habit to keep yourself healthy and happy and safe. Please keep it. Um, not just to terrify yourself with us all becoming a generation of germaphobes. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Love you guys. Um, we will see you next live. And look out for the website coming very, very soon. All right, guys. We are signing out. Love you. He thought he was going to like do all that and then like sign out. Yeah, didn't no, work. <laughs> I just wanted to show off my little Mickey. Well, I have uh, Jasmine stuff, so me too. Bye, guys.